How to spot a high quality job candidate? The objective is to identify and understand the process of selecting a high quality candidate. Personal selection is the process through which organizations make decisions about who will or will not be allowed to join the organization. There are five steps in the selection process. Step 1. Criteria Development The first approach is to plan the interview process by having a clear image of exactly the type of person who will fit the company. Criteria development means determining which sources of information will be used and how these sources will be scored during the interview. The criteria are directly related to the job analysis and job specification. In addition, determine the personality and cultural fit of the best candidate. This process usually involves discussing which knowledge, skills, abilities, and other characteristics are required to be successful at any given job. By determining the criteria before reviewing any resumes, the HR manager can be sure he or she is being fair in selecting people to interview. Step 2. Application and Resume Review the application and resume review are the processes of reviewing job application forms, resumes, and other forms of application material. Once step one is completed, applications can be reviewed based on the criteria developed. This involves screening applicants to narrow the pool of candidates to best align the available position. The recruiter will Communicate to the potential candidates the job description and job specification of the position offered to attract applications from qualified candidates. Step 3. Interviews After the HR professional has determined which applications meet the criteria for the job position, he or she must select the highest quality candidates to be interviewed. HR managers usually use structured interviews. Structured interview is a selection interview that consists of a predetermined set of questions for the interviewer to ask. An interview is the most popular employee selection process, which can vary in the extent to which it is structured. It normally consists of a face-to-face -face conversation between an applicant and a recruiter. Who are you? Uh, my name is Andy Sachs. I recently graduated from Northwestern University. And what are you doing here? <clears throat> well, I think I could do a good job as your assistant. And, um... Yeah, I came to New York to be a journalist and uh, sent letters out everywhere and then finally got a call from Elias Clark and met with Sherry up at Human Resources and basically it's this or auto universe. So you don't read Runway? Uh, no. And before today you had never heard of me? No. And you have no style or sense of fashion? Well, um... <laughs> I think that depends on what you're... No, no. That wasn't a question. Um, I was editor-in-chief of the Daily Northwestern. I, I also um, won a national competition for college journalists with my series on the janitor's union, which exposed the That's exploitation all. of... Step four. Test administration. There are several test procedures administered to applicants to determine job suitability before conducting a hiring decision. Some examples include drug tests, physical tests, personality tests, and cognitive tests. In addition, this step involves reference checks, credit report checks, and background checks. Once the pool of applicants is narrowed in the interview process, the test can be conducted. Oh, hey, can I get a scotch on the rocks for that too, please? Thank you. Oh, yeah. Huh. That, 
uh, I thought in your profile it said you, uh, you like to drink red wine. Printed out my profile. Actually, my associate producer did. She doesn't like me to not be prepared. Not that I'm ever not prepared. Kudos, by the way, on your comprehensive car insurance plan. It wasn't in my profile. No, but it's in your background check. There are two objectives to test selection. To find a candidate on desirable traits and to identify the characteristics related to the job. Selection tests must be both reliable and valid. Reliability is the extent to which a measure is free from random error, while validity is the extent to which performance on a measure is related to what the measure is designed to assess. Step 5. Selection A clinical selection approach is probably the most common selection method, and it involves all who is making the decision to hire a candidate. The decision makers review the data based on what they learn from the candidate, the information available to them, decide who should be hired for a job. Step 6. Making the offer. After selecting the best quality candidate, the HR professional must contact the applicant and offer the job position to the individual. That is how to spot a high quality job candidate using the selection method. HR professionals use this method to narrow the applicant pool in order to choose the candidate with the essential skills for the job.